the armies of hatred had been smashed by the united power of men determined to be free, and when the tyrannical tread of these supermen slowed down to the weary tramp of prisoners of war, two of these fallen heroes escaped I beg your pardon, sir. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. But I was blind. Our oh, fortunes of war. Rather poor fortune in my case. You were a soldier? A Marine. Tarawa. Ah, uh, the Japanese, a warrior race. One way of putting it. I suppose you fellows were in the Army? Yes. Quite a veterans reunion. In the Pacific? No. Europe. Africa. We fought many battles. It's tragic that one should lose one's sight in such a... lose one's sight. Well, Mitzi's my eyes now. This is just a practice stroll. We're still training each other. Do you live around here? Just up the road. Well, perhaps you know a fellow in this neighborhood named Arndt. Arndt? Yes, I know him. The FBI took him away. He was a Nazi. He shelled in German prisoners. Oh. And you... you're Nazis too, aren't you? No, no, we're not. Yes, Mr. Blind Detective, we are Nazis. And just what do you intend to do about it? I intend to go to my house and call the authorities. I advise you to take advantage of whatever head start you have. Thank you. We need no head start. Mitzi! 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 Jump in, boys. Okay, boys, jump in. Francis, boys. Francis, the back seat is full of poster. Are you local fellas? Yes. yes. Good. Who is this Luigi Gusto? Who's Luigi Gusto? What's the matter? You're blind. Can you see? I am Louis J. Goose. Honest, able, fearless. Have I got your vote? Yes. Good. My friend, fellow citizen, voter, American, is a first class land of opportunity. I come here 30 years ago. Then, as an nobody like the Italian fellow, only good for dig a ditch. But today, already as Louis J. Goose, the regular endorser candidate for county sheriff. And when he's a sheriff for my friends, he promised you he's going to put all of them bums, crooks, fascists, ladrones, gamblers, and Nazis in a great big jail. And he's going to throw away the key. That's my pledge to you, my fellow citizens. Have a cigar. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. OK, boys. You almost gave us away. After this, I will do the talking. Aber Herr Oberleutnant, Sie haben mir gesagt... English, you lump English. Why do you suppose I brought you with me? Because you spent your childhood in this stupid country. You speak English good, well, speak it. And anyway, shut up. Yes, sir. And try to act like an equal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Relax. Relax. Be soft like an American. Oh, hello, Colonel. Yes, we've picked up your two escaped prisoners. I've got a couple of men tailing them. No, I don't want to bring them in yet. I'm going to let them run around a while. They might lead us to something. No, don't worry. They're in good hands. Right.
Who's complaining? Sure, we'll stay with them. Where are they going? Well, they're sightseeing like a couple of Jersey farmers. They dragged us down to the battery and up to Grant's tomb, and now they're at the Empire State Building. All right, I'm only telling you. How do I know where they're going next? They're probably going to climb the Statue of Liberty. Sure, we'll keep an eye on them. All I say is let them go to Coney Island. Let them go to Coney Island, and I hand in my resignation. <laughs> this government, or any government, but against all governments. I'm against the government kicking, caboodle, shebang, and canola. Now then, this fella says, I'm the government. And then the fella says, I'm the government. What right has this government or any government got to tell you or me what to do? Let me put it this way. You, brother, what did the U.S. government ever do for you? Nothing. That's right, nothing. Now then, attacking the government. What's that, brother? He said, what right have you got to attack the government? The right to free speech. The right That's to... That's the trouble with this country. Too many big mouths. This guy's nuts. Shut up. Let the guy... <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Parliamentary procedure, if you please. Now then, what's going on here? All right, all right, you guys. Take it easy. What's this all about, you? Uh, Speak up. Uh, dangerous thoughts. Speak up. Tell them what it's all about. This man is speaking against the government. So what? So what? Mr. Boswick has a perfect right to speak against the government. And furthermore, Mr. Boswick is a highly educated man. Well read, too. Go right ahead, Mr. Boswick. Come, we go to your sister-in-law. No, Where is no, it she lives? Staten Island. I am Franz, that policeman is bribed by Moscow. Right, you got something there, brother. Oh, by the way, where are you fellas going? Staten Island. That's a coincidence. I live in Staten Island. I got my car right over here. I'll give you a lift. Fine. Fine. Be more careful mingling with Americans. Ah, in Germany, we'd be caught in ten minutes. With these boobs, we are safe. Americans couldn't catch a cold. Hey, fellas, come on. All right. Yeah. Just around the corner, one block to your right. Alvidesay. Alvidesay. Police. What do we care about them? You better be careful. Besides, we don't want to get your sister-in-law in trouble. Come on. Franz, Russia. After all these years. May I present my sister-in-law, Greta Stowe? How do you do? And who's this like big fellow? Come in. Hansi, come say hello to your long-lost uncle. The gate, Hansi. Ah, coffee. Here, let me get you some coffee. Sure, too kind. And it won't be as out either. Not in this house. <laughs> They're now at the home of Greta Stoltz, 212 Warsaw Street. She's the sister-in-law of one of the Nazis. And it looks as if this is their objective. Okay, as soon as the men arrive, we'll surround the building and bring them in. The woman, too. Yes, sir. No, no, no. Run in place. No. Yes. Go. American discipline. I beg your pardon. How many years is it? Four? Well, you wrote that you're living in St. Paul, then no more letters. Do you still live in St. Paul? No. Carl was very worried about you. He used to call you his last baby brother. And Carl, how is he? Where is he? In the army. Oh. In Germany? Yes, with General Pat. With Pat? Oh, here, let me get you some coffee. Uh, no, thank you. Yes, he's been decorated. Decorated? An American gangster. An enemy of the fatherland. Whatever do you mean? You talk like Nazi. Every good German is a Nazi. Good heavens, surely not you. Every good German is a Nazi. You mean you went back? To do my duty. Duty? You mean you had a chance to stay here and be a free man, and you sneak back to Germany? You, you lunatic, you. 
I'll close your mouth, you traitor. Don't call. She's just a Dummkopf, a Yankee Dummkopf. We're German soldiers, prisoners. You're a German woman. I hope you don't expect me to help you. Greta, your own brother-in-law. Why? Why not you whine when you're defeated? Defeated? You fool. Our idea, the Nazi idea, has already won. Such smart boys. They can win everything but a war. You may overwhelm us temporarily with your planes and tanks and money, but you'll see, we'll win in the end. It's so easy. First we make them hate the Jews, then we make them hate the Catholics, then we make them hate the Protestants. And when they're all so busy fighting each other, we take over. It's so easy. It's like taking candy from Haunty. It worked in Belgium, Austria, France, and it will work here. Oh, no. We have learned from those horrors. All over the country, people are banding together against your lives. Your boob Millions. of a country with its conferences of Jews and Christians. They're doing a magnificent job. They fight racial hatred. They fight everything you stand for. Magnificent job. We Germans have spent years planning our ideas here. Race hatred, religious antagonism, class hatred. Before Hansi is a man, he'll see race riots in this country. Race riots? And he will That's see a Germany. <laughs> Defeated Germany that knows how to work and how to wait. We won't have to shoot Americans. The Americans will be so obliging as to shoot each other. Ach, these fools. Look, you clawed up. America will know how to defeat your army of liars just as she know how to defeat your army of murderers. But that's no use talking to you. She's right, Court. We shouldn't discuss this subject with a woman. Greta, forget all this. Greta, you're the only person that can save us. You've got to hide us. Hide us? Save us? I'd rather hide a couple of cannibals. Shut up. You're staying right here. Give me the FBI. Show me Nazi. Help! Help! Come on. Come on, the police. Come on. Come on. Help! Help! Don't shoot. Three of you go to the back. Watch the roof. Two of you go to the basement door. You want the bomb chief? They've got a kid in there. Here, you two. Go around the corner to the other door. Court! Court! Tight that door again and we kill the child. If you lay a hand on that kid, you'll burn for it. Child, your own brother's baby. I'm the pastor of this church. You're behaving like frightened animals. Come out. You'll be decently treated and fairly judged. Nobody judges as that. You are the child, get the police out of here. We want an automobile with the water running in front of the church. Nazis. We'll die like German heroes. 
If we go, everything goes. Joe, if this weren't a church, I'd like to blow them out. Well, listen, Harold, maybe I can arrange something. I drove those guys up here, so they think I'm one of their pals. Leave them to me, I'll get them out. Okay, go get them. Die? Don't die like a German hero. Take I give up. Are you going to take the blame if we give up? No. No. When you're dead, you'll take the blame. I'll kill you. Let's go. He's all right. Yeah, sure he's all right. He's a big boy. Uh, aren't you, son? Ah, no, it's not. Dr. Cole, take a look at this Superman. You. Are you going to take that, Doc? Are you going to patch him up? That's my job. Patching people up, all people. Tough luck, Parson. <laughs> Hatred destroys the most sacred and valuable things in the world. How much damage, Bob? Well, quite a bit, I'm afraid, Father Michael. Bob, we want to help you in every way so you can hold your Sunday services tomorrow. Well, that's wonderfully kind, Rabbi. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I'm truly sorry, Bob. The people of all religions are injured by an attack on any one religion. Call on me for anything I can do. Thank you. He'll be here any moment now. He's coming. He's coming. Fine, fine. He's coming, Rabbi. Everything all right? Yes, everything's all right, Father. What you've done here, my friends, moves me very deeply. What can I say to let you know all that I feel? You've been mighty good neighbors. I wish every community could have the same good fellowship and mutual respect that we have in our town. You've shown that although we worship God in different ways, still we worship the same God and we're brothers in spirit. Yesterday, hatred destroyed our church, but now with your love, and labor. You've made it beautiful. I think that's the parable of the world. Hatred destroys people and nations, but the hope of the world lies in the sympathy and understanding that each group has for the problems of the others. Protestants, Catholics, and Jews need each other to make our city strong. I believe that in the whole world, as well as in our nation. In spite of all differences, we can build a more just and humane society. Christians and Jews, whites and colored people, our friends have died in battle. Those of us who live must wage the battles of peace against prejudice and bigotry. I hope the day has come when we will stress all that we have in common 
and work together as American citizens. Because it's our common humanity that binds us together. With teamwork, we can make the American dream come true.